Yo, what is going on, guys, and welcome back to the Browns franchise. We are currently sitting at the top of the division, 7-0. Ravens are trying to keep up, and they're 5-2. Overall, we've been solid. I guess I haven't shown you guys the stats much, but I just want to quickly show you guys what we're looking at. Kyler Murray with the 29 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. Ru Rushing, we're doing all right. 5.3 yards of carry is phenomenal, right? So that's very efficient. That's all that matters. Receiving. Y'all see it. We almost have 2,000 yard receivers. And then Coleman. Claypool hasn't played that much, okay? I, we haven't used Claypool that much. But again, he's our third option. So it's like when we play someone with a really good defense, he's going to be there for us. And that's when he'll come into play, all right? It will all end up working out. So overall, we've been nasty, okay? Blocking wise, I don't know how many sacks we've gotten, but for Jerry Hughes got four. Her Eric Harris got two. Geno Sackens, D Ford. Overall, not bad. Okay, so you guys know me. I wanted a better defensive line, so I went out there. I said, Doo -doo 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 -doo. dialed up a trade. Harrison Smith actually has not been bad. Looking at all the stats, he's actually been phenomenal. But I wanted a D lineman that would help out. I, I know I complained about Harrison Smith a lot. He wasn't that bad, all right? But I wanted a D lineman to help out with our D line because honestly, I wanted uh, another ability on the D-line. So, 90 overall. So, we do have two abilities on the D-line. Both of which, we're going to be rocking the inside stuff. Hopefully, that stops. Our opponent this week actually has Derrick Henry. So, hopefully, we can shut down the run game with these two. I think this is a lot better for us. Harrison Smith was good. But to have another ability on the D-line is going to be phenomenal for us. So, Terrell's not bad. He's just not good at tackling. So, Harrison Smith was really good. So we'll see how this goes. He does have more speed. For some reason, my... The dude that I traded with was uh, going with his man coverage on this instead of the zone. Since this man is really good, we'll actually probably go ahead and switch him with Harris, my other safety. And I'll put Harris deep because he has better zone. And I'll put Terrell underneath to run man. So I guess that works. But I wouldn't have liked to do it, but we'll do it that way anyway. So anyways, though, there's the team. You guys see it. And also the DK upgrade is nice all right yeah breakout dev trait you know what i'm saying got very lucky with that which i i just want to go speed rush i believe i'm just going to keep going speed rush for him that's all i want him for so he gets two tackling and finesse move goes up not awful and we get chase claypool i do kind of want to go a little bit more deep with him just i i kind of want to get him more engaged to get his overall up and just kind of get him in the flow of things but overall upgrade right there is pretty good Deep, release, catching, awareness. And then the other one that matters is the DK Metcalf. And honestly, we have been upgrading his route running a lot. And with the upgrades to that, um, it's honestly been doing his medium, which is what needs to be upgraded. I want to see if we can get his... D you know what? Let's just do it. Let's get him up. 94 over. We'll go deep. We'll go deep. And that's catching. Deep plus two. Catching traffic's actually huge too. So overall, I like it. 94 overall now. So, with that being said, he does have the X-Factor ability with that dev trade upgrade that we got. Other than that, not a whole lot. So, I forgot to talk about this at the beginning of the video. This game's really important because there's currently, I believe, three undefeated teams. Two of which are going to be um, this and us versus the Dolphins as well. So, we don't actually play the Dolphins, but the Raiders actually play the Dolphins. So... Uh, we don't have a chance if we lose this game and the Dolphins happen to win. We can't take them out. We must win this game if we want to win. We must stop the run if we want to win this game. That's literally all it comes down to is stopping the run. Like, that's all it's going to come down to. And I think we can do that as long as he doesn't get that, like, falling. He'll probably fall forward every run. The one thing he does have going for him, right, is the fact that he's able to run stretch. And those stretch plays are normally just kind of really good plays to go with anyways. He has the underneath. Oh, that's interception, Chris Harris. No. <laughs> Let's see what we can do here. Man coverage. Man coverage. Quarterback spy. He's going to throw. Oh, that's Brad. Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. I want to overcommit to the left because I'm sending a cornerback blitz to that right side. Right. Hard flats is on. And we got an interception. No, no, no. Oh, he went for the hat. We like the defense. We'll take that defense. That's not bad. We are going to run man. Oh, it's a screenplay. We got him. Meet me. Okay. Take him down. All right. Even that. Uh, I'm honestly not going to lie. I kind of feel like we need to run hard flats. Every oh, he's going to try it, isn't he? He's going to try it, isn't he? He's going to try it. Yes. Grab him by the wee wee. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, Waller right away, right? Waller right away. 
Oh my gosh, gotta hold on to the ball. Uh, we just need to lock in just a little bit. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, plenty of room. Plenty of room, Kyler. Get the first down. And they give him it. Holy cow. If he's not going to get the blocking on the O line, well, Kyler, your players may not be playing that well, but you're there for them. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm a little bit scared. You know why I'm scared? Because he's pressing me and DK is going to get open. Nope. Nope. Okay. Got him open. Possession it. Yes. What a thought, Kyler. We have to settle for a field goal because his defense held strong. I mean, oh, inside stuff, baby. Woo, woo, hoo, hoo. He's going to try to pass the ball, right? We need to get after him here, okay? Need to get after him here. We got the guy underneath. Oh, he's not going to guard. He's not even in the right spot. 20. Let's see what we can do here. The run play. Hey, I like what I'm seeing. The flow is there. But uh, they all just ran into the guys instead of, like, keeping it. The flow was there. We're seeing a little bit of laziness going on right now with this team. Oh, got him. Got him. He's not throwing across his body, is he? There's no way he continues to make passes, and he breaks two back-to-back -back tackles. Let's go. Oh, inside stuff. You can't do it, son. Okay, never mind. It's Derrick Henry. Magic powers. All right, so I feel like it comes down to who's going to make the first bad pass, right? We have the underneath. Our, oh, where are you going? Oh, Chris Harris, dude. So I think Chris Harris went after the quarterback when I sent my quarterback spy after the quarterback. And that turns into a massive play. All right, well, we can stop his run. We can stop the run, baby. Yes. Hold the ball. I kind of want as much time uh, on the clock. So I'm going to run commit here. And it works, baby. And I uh, have the animation. How do, you, how do you go that way? He's going to go for it here. Important job. Important down. And he's going to get... Okay. He trucked us. Now, in tight coverage, I would like to see Kyler do a little bit of a better job. Um, because he, he does... Oh, we're dropping balls left and right. Um, we have enough blocking here, so we're not worried about that. Claypool is going to be wide open. And this should be... It. Oh, my gosh. Now I'm actually just getting trolled. Nothing we can do. We're just not catching the ball at all. And it's honestly just showing really badly right now. We did catch it. And, and it's like, oh, this is desperation going for it. Okay. This is a desperation. I, I don't think we can stop them. And it's, it's been very hard for us. And we're gonna we're gonna get it and there were like a few times I would say Kyler needs to make a better throw But he's been phenomenal this whole game But we right now are not catching the ball and it's just becoming a little bit of a concern here Going forward in this game if he's in man We should have DK wide open. There we go. Nice pass. Nice catch now kind of like Waller on this route this out route here by Waller Okay, we're gonna check it down underneath Okay, I like what I'm seeing, baby. Making up for his. I can honestly tell you guys, I'm really not surprised by any of this stuff happening. Uh, I mean, at this point, I think we lose simply because we can't stop Derrick Henry and we're losing, right? Uh, it sucks that we fumbled a lot of things out of our control this game. Well, honestly, I guess we just try to finish this game. Nothing else being said. Just try to finish this game, I guess. Oh, brother. Waller underneath, just in case he runs a blitz. He did. We got Waller. He's getting around that edge, and he could. Get ankle tackle, but that's a good gain there on first down. I don't even think he ran a blitz. I'm almost certain he didn't run a blitz, but Waller was just open. Now, we're going to have Waller to the window. He catches it to the wall. All right, we haven't ran the ball yet. And we're going to do it right now. The run play up the middle. And, ooh, close to it. I kind of want to go hurry up. We could get it in on the outside. All right. Coleman, good job, brother. Fun fact, we are 7-0, and and we have yet to cause a fumble. Zero fumbles. And the bad thing is, oh, what? I'm, I'm, I can't control him. I can't control my guy. What the heck? Saying that we're undefeated and we've been doing so good, I got sucked into that. What the heck? I got sucked into a block. I was about.
about to use your tackleum against someone well against both teams when you guys really can't stop each other you can't fumble it, you can't have those types of fumbles it's so tough to be doing all this when you have a fumble, it's I, we, I don't think we can stop them. I don't think we can stop unless I lay the wood and they give me the actual hit and I smack Derrick Henry and smack the ball out. I think we're done, so so much pain. Waller's gonna be open. He has too much speed. We're gonna go in. I uh, we're we're gonna go in. We're gonna go in. <laughs> we're gonna run, run right at him, run right at him. Let's go. Okay, live. It did not get him, but we got Coleman underneath. Run sideways, baby. All right. All right. Got him. And that's going to be a touchdown. I wish that was a touchdown to tie the game. <laughs> I don't know if we can stop a man. But we'll have to see if we do it right this time. We are sending a blitz. We did send it to the uh, le left side. See, okay, there, that's fine. As long as we take him down. I doubt he actually passes the ball here. He is going to pass it. Okay. Come on, bro. Step up. Step up. They said I have to be aggressive here. We're sending an all-out blitz. Psych! We're not sending an all-out blitz. Oh, my gosh. It's, he ran into our guy. Boop! 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 Two, one play, two broken tackles. Okay, he's definitely passing the ball here. The question is, it's a screen! It's a screen. How am I the only one reading that? He's going to break it. He's going to break another one. He about has 16 broken tackles in one game. Can we talk about that? Uh, 16 broken tackles in one game. Oh, suck it. Okay. Give him a touchdown. All right, there we go. Third and 15. Nice conversion there. Got him. Going upfield. We got a lot of room. Duke move in. Oh, baby. He's still up. And we're going to call a timeout. Actually, this is a touchdown. Touchdown, Kyler. Tavon Austin, boop, 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 boop. Now here goes the onside kick that never gets had. Because you get like a 2% chance of getting it. Smack up. That one take away. That one take away. Ah! All right, Kyler. 371 yards. Dog, y'all, EA. Y'all can't do this to Kyler, man. He balls out, bro. He did his thing. All right, we'll move on from it. I'm not even mad Kyler balled out, okay? So I am going to kind of show you guys the stats. Uh, I messed up and didn't get it exactly how I wanted you guys to see it. So overall, he had 382 yards to my 396 actual player stats. Kyler did go off with almost 400 yards passing. But then you go ahead and look at <laughs> Derrick Henry, 12.2 yards a carry. Four touchdowns, 17 carries. He had eight broken tackles. And I want to say the broken tackles is usually way less than the actual number. For some reason, when players like break two tackles back to back, they don't consider it. They should, but they don't in this game. So he had probably at least my guess would be 12 plus. Almost every single carry, he broke a tackle. Yards after contact, he had 152. So... If we make the drives a little bit longer, we had a better chance because he had so many long touchdown runs. Uh, yeah, those broken tackles killed us. And then the last stats I want to show you guys is the receiving. Waller, of course, 158. Tavon Austin, 84. Coleman, 59. And then, wait, DK, 18. And then Claypool was zero, but he did have that one drop pass that probably would have been maybe a touchdown, but at least, what, 40, 50, 60 yards? Other than that, that was kind of a letdown by those boys. But the other guys did step up, so it wasn't that big of an issue. With that being said, guys, hopefully you enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.